Okay, for your first task this week, what we want you to do is use any space that you have at home. You will need a ball as well. The ball, it can be a basketball, that would be preferable, but if you have any other ball, that is absolutely fine. So, once you've found the space that you're gonna use, all I want you to start doing is start dribbling with your right hand. Moving around the space, just at your own pace, there's no worries, just go and get used to the bounce of the ball. <clears throat> Once you get comfortable, I want you to change the pace. You might increase this to just a jog. Still using the whole space that you've got, moving in different directions, just using your right hand. I also would like you to change it to a, a almost a sprint, fast run. Again, trying to use the space, keeping your head up, knowing where you're going. Once you've done this, I'd like you to try with the opposite hand. See if you can do your left hand. So you might need to take it back down to a walk. And if you get more confident, you can go to a jog. And again, even faster if you get that confidence. That's absolutely fine. But remember, it's just practice. The final part of this task is to try and alternate hands. So use both of your hands. Maybe when you're changing direction, you can use it to um, move the way in which you're going and you can also try and take on defenders if you've got anyone else at home with you. That's your first task. Okay, so just a re what reminder of a rule once you're dribbling around. If a player stops and picks the ball up with two hands, at that point in a game, he must pass or shoot during that game. If he doesn't and continues to dribble, the referee will blow the whistle and it'll be a turnover to the opposite team as it is called a double dribble. Okay, this is your second drill. This is called protecting possession. For this activity, you will need four cones. Obviously, we know that you might not have four cones at home. Therefore, we have used a book, a pillow and some jumpers. This might be something that you have at home that you could also use. Don't forget, you also need a ball. But as I said earlier, it doesn't have to be a basketball. It could just be a football or any equipment that you have that will bounce. <clears throat> okay, so what the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna to dribble towards the cone, which is gonna be a player. You need to be shielded between the ball and the player. As you go past, you cross over. So you're shielding round. And as you go past, you switch back over to the right hand. Go back to the corner. You're shielding the ball away from the cone. You're crossing over again. And you're driving around again, crossing over your feet again and the other hand. 